It was in 19, uh, 2008, 2008. 8th of August of 2008. We left Lima and made that long, drooling trip, six hours up the mountains, and came to this church. It was in 2007, they asked me if I'd come and take over the church. The church was falling apart, they were down to hardly nothing. And well, it was a church that my dad started a long time ago. And to take over that church again, they already had the Peruvian pastor, but the Peruvian pastor, well, he did not want to carry on and to go into all the details, it doesn't make any difference. The fact is that the Lord asked, uh, told us to come on up this hill, and so we came, and we took over. And we, our first service here, we had 26 in Sunday school. And, um, well, again, the Lord just began blessing. I had so many stories I could tell you how the Lord just began to bless, started bringing people, and the first thing I began noticing in the work there was a young man by the name of Christian Soto. He was tremendous. He came to music, so I made him my music director as we take over the music. And oh, how that flourished. Uh, we brought in another young man that, uh, man, I've known since I was my childhood. Brother Daniel, um, um, I can't believe I can. Perez, Brother Daniel Perez. I'm sorry, I can't remember his name. Bless his heart. He's one of my best friends. I just can't remember his name. I call him Daniel. That's all I ever call him. But anyway, he came along and, man, the music department just went crazy because Brother Christian's brother, his name's Sammy, he came along with his violin and then there was another young lady that had a violin. They both started playing violins and we had organ, violin, two guitars. It was just beautiful. But the thing that was really amazing too, families started coming in. Families, entire families would move in. And of course, some of them came with strange, strange doctrines. And, uh, but through the preaching of the word, consistent, hard, hard preaching, um, several of them began to realize that they never had really been saved. Uh, they had a works for salvation uh, theory and as long as you do good, you're saved. And as soon as you do bad, you're not saved anymore. And so most of my messages just went around salvation by grace. And throughout the entire scriptures, how it was God's grace moved in on people. It had nothing to do with what you did. Uh, I realize, and you don't have to try to correct me on my doctrine. The fact is, I know that uh, you can never lose your relationship, but you do lose your communion. But the Lord really began blessing. Well, it was um, in March of 2010 that uh, the government decided to shut us down because our building was was shot. Uh, the truth is we got a horrible little building. And, and if you all remember the history at all, and it was in March of 2006, a terrible earthquake hit Peru and wiped out hundreds of thousands of people. And most of them were trapped in adobe buildings. So the government passed a law that if your building is not earthquake proof, you could not be used as a public building. Well, ours is pathetic. And they came to shut us down. But praise the Lord, the lady that came to shut us down got saved. And she told us, you know, instead of shutting you down, if you just start building. So we started a building project and what used to be a patio on the back just to keep the doors open. And we're praying that the Lord will uh, provide the funds to finish up what we started, but we got a long way to go. We're at the dig of a four meter garage for the cars and then a building and this is going to cost a lot of money but the Lord knows how. The Lord knows all the, how does it go? The Lord owns the cattle on a thousand hills and the hills also. He owns it all and he'll do what he wants when he wants. But the Lord truly began to bless and um, uh, the truth is our tenants grew. Uh, we started hitting the between on a bad day, 80 in Sunday school, and a real good day, we had about 120. And the, the offerings, wow, the tithes and offerings. What started off uh, just a few hundred solis a, a month turned into over 5,000 a month. The Lord really began to bless, and I knew that it was time for a change.